Carbon footprint reporting. What are carbon footprints for? Well, first and foremost, they're actually for giving a total amount of emissions associated with any organization over one year. Who is likely to need carbon footprint reports? Local authorities who are required to produce a local authority greenhouse gas report or any organization that wants to produce a voluntary carbon footprint report for, for example, a carbon disclosure project or any listed company on the London Exchange who will be required to produce a carbon footprint report for the 2013-14 year and thereafter. What does the carbon footprinting module enable you to do? Well, first and foremost, producing the total annual emissions associated with the organisation. They will be divided and assessed in terms of scope one, scope two and scope three contributions. In addition, if you have any interest in the individual emissions associated with the Kyoto gases, then there will be further data available for that. You can analyse the emissions by various means. One would be on what are the emissions associated with an individual site? What are the emissions associated with an individual supply, whether gas, electricity, transport or whatever? What are the emissions associated with individual countries? And what are the scope one, two and three emissions? In general, the software enables you to analyze all of those things and illustrate the breakdown of those uh, carbon emissions. You can save charts and illustrations. You can export a spreadsheet with the numerical data. And that data can be used to illustrate any carbon footprint report. The biggest challenge perhaps for users is actually to have the procedures and the processes in place in time for April 2013 to make sure that they've actually got the data in Sigma so that it can be analysed for the complete 2013-14 year. Now is the time to address that issue and if you need any advice then please contact us.